Hi there, James here at Inspire Asia, and actually I'm down in our Wellington office, but also, funnily enough, catching up with someone from our Melbourne office who's in town this week, Rhys Kerr, one of our learning partners. Mm. And we've just been chatting about, you know, what are the main challenges that clients are asking for our help with over in Melbourne at the moment. So what, what are some of the key things and, and what's the sort of the main pain points do you see, Rhys? Yeah, great question. Um, huge varied you know number of topics and I guess challenges our clients are facing in Melbourne and you know it is a little bit probably different to some of the challenges mm. that clients are facing you know indeed in, in New Zealand and in Asia. Yeah. Um, I think one of the biggest things that, that our clients, uh, the challenges they're facing is, is around content curation. Um, you know I think with, with so much information out there um, you know, clients and you know, learners mm -hmm. find it difficult to know, you know, what to read, what not to read, yeah. what to watch, mm -hmm. what not to watch. Um, and I, I think it comes down to uh, filtering that information, mm -hmm. checking it for accuracy, um, and then also delivering it to the to the learner so they can digest it in the right way. Yeah. Um, and there needs to be a human intervention there as well. I think yeah, you know yeah, you can use data and, mm. and mine it, but, mm. but there does need a human intervention mm. there as well. Um, so clients and learners know what, what to learn. Uh, yeah, I think that's the... So, so it's our job to kind of curate that and to sift through that for them Abs and, and to show them what they should be, you know, Absolutely. cut through the noise as well. A absolutely. Mm. And I think, I think it's one thing, you know, finding what, you know, learners need to digest mm. and what they need to read and, and learn and, and what have you. But the next part of that, which is, I guess, another challenge our clients are facing as well, is around how to map that learning learning yes. journey out yeah. and present it in the right way, mm. so they can they can get the information at the right time yep. for when they need it for the you know for the right challenge. Brilliant, and of course, Chameleon is a great tool for that. Absolutely, because yeah. you know I guess something that feeds into that really nicely mm. is is micro mm. chunking learning. It's yep. been you know it's been a something that's been chucked around for a little while now, mm. but it's becoming even more relevant. Yeah. Um, so not just uh, presenting I guess written content or visual content, but also videos as mm. well, chunking that content up. Brilliant. Because um, as we know, you know, video content is much easier digestible yeah, by, by learners. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's that's something that's really you know on the tip of their tongues as well. Fantastic. And the good news is we're sharing examples of what that looks like mm. uh, on our website as well and through social media. So look out for that. Reese, great to catch up as ever. Excellent. Thanks, Thanks James. Cheers.